Hey y'all, Dr. Pirelli here, Spring Chiropractic over in Ashburn, Virginia. I got a little eyeball video for y'all today. Anyone in here have any Yakima trailer, they uh, may have some uh, bearings on their trailers that might need a little attention. So, <clears throat> you have the bearing, it spins in here. Now this is already taken apart. So we have the rest of the assembly with all the washers and the nuts, the castle nut, the cotter pin is all removed already. And if you, especially if you back up into the water, you're going to have more uh, chance of you rusting out the uh, bearings. So it's good to check it first, see if it's spinning, see if it's moving. You can do that with it on there. This one, for example, is completely seized up. So you go on Amazon and you get yourself a 10 pack for like 30 something dollars and each wheel takes two bearings so you'll need to take the old ones off first so you have it stripped down you have the hubcap cover off and you'll go ahead and you'll start removing the uh, bearing so a good way what you need basically what you'll need is a flathead screwdriver and some sort of metal hammer. That's what I use. You put it up here on the edge of the table. You want the lip to be right around here. And you'll give it a couple smacks. Now, this one already, I took this shaft out because this one has already been taken apart. So the first thing you'll need to do is start up here and push it one side so you can get the lip of the bearing. Once you push it out of the way, you'll flip it over so you can get to that space. You can also push it again and then you can push down, straight down. You can give it a couple smacks of the hammer. You'll want to do both sides evenly. Ouch. And this one's coming out very unevenly. So you want it to come out as even as possible or else you're going to mess with the shaft that the bearing is held into. That was a good smack in there. Yeah. It's about halfway now. You can see it. It's kind of sticking, kind of lopsided. But this wheel, I kind of messed up the first time I was doing it. So we're not too worried about this one. It's going to be more of a spare tire. Alright, there you go. So now that you have the old one out, you might have hit the uh, the seal that covers it, you know, and that's fine. <clears throat> you want to take the other one out as well. So you just flip that over, and now you have a lot more space to get in there. You'll have the shaft in here as well, which, you know, might be sitting out here. You're going to have a rubber gasket, which is basically just used to hold the shaft into place. Um, you're going to probably have quite a bit of rust in there and lots of other stuff. You can clean out this lip. You see this is the shoulder that the bearing rests on. And then this part's pretty simple. You can use the flat head again or you can use, you know, another, a bigger metal piece and smack it out from there. But this bearing is actually new. I just replaced this one. So, we'll go ahead and we'll get you set up here on the press and we'll put the uh, the new bearings on so